Before we get into this, go check out the other two videos that I've done, Government Controlled Opposition Revealed and Government Censorship Network Revealed. It's basically just giving you a basic idea of what we're going through. Um, this video, the third video, is going through the agents, the actors, the agitators, the film crew filming all of them. Finish the speech! Finish it! Don't worry about me! Finish the speech! But, uh... And we're just going to be doing an audit of all the people involved in all of this. You are an agitator, sod off. The motherfucker turns around and sucker punches me. And then his fucking friends rush me. And this is what happened afterwards. I'm not seeing people and don't go to prison for it. He said he can't. I know what's going on with this fucking plan. Go into your DNA, it's going to change you forever, which means that you are no longer of the creator. They can put a patent on you. So, ladies, you know what time is? It's big up with Elizabeth. Big up with Elizabeth. Fuck ISIS. Big up with you. Glad you're in the point are we not to join us? Stand with us. We need you guys. What, genuine? against the lockdown. I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm gonna kick his ass because he's a piece of shit. Unbelievable, man. You're not genuine. You reached the fucking game to show. No! Yeah, no, that's your mum is a prostitute. Your mum is a prostitute. Your mum is the biggest prostitute. Oh, she's a racist. Long live the Magna Carta! Look at her Yes, we win on this, a lot of the other COVID um, arrests will fall. We yeah. are sitting there overwhelmed with what we're being told as the medical revolutionaries, people whistleblowing to us. Oh, shut up, you cunt! Looking into the government opposition, especially the film crews, the agency actors and people around and the big name independent opposition such as Piers Corbyn, David Icke, Nigel Farage, these are all people that are supposedly meant to be representing us in opposition to the government and um, they seem to all be getting arrested all the time and the newspapers to fall straight into the anti-vaxxers the violent anti-lockdown and a number of other weaponized words and polarized words that will be put into the media and has been betrayed into people for the last few months so they've all got this picture of people who do research and look into information and evidence that they're all just anti-vaxxers they all just want to cause trouble on the streets of london a lot of us are all just here doing decent research and putting good information out and it's getting censored by the same people so we're just looking into a number of the people I'm not saying they're all part paid by the government but they seem to all be playing a role whether knowingly or unknowingly and they all seem to given a bad name for the truth movement and the opposition to the government for which the media can then do like we've seen in a number of videos from people like John Overkill check him out and we've seen a number of people exposing people like Kate Shemarani, Mark Steele there's a number of people who are all involved and meant to be representing us and the same people have appeared in the past in groups such as the uh, Flat Earth group there's also opposition to the Extinction Rebellion, Eclipse with Kate Shermani and Mark Steele where they just seem to be popping up and being recycled every now and then and coming into groups. It's almost like they're on the tip of the opposition and they're always on the main stage with the big expensive speakers and microphones and advertisement which everyone's waving banners listening to i would say four or five different theories on 
what has actually happened without providing any evidence such as Mark Steele saying that 55 million English people will die because of 5G. Lots of people leading lots of other people down the wrong path. And when it comes to the big protests, you notice that they will uh, dedicate a certain place to meet and then an hour before that place will be changed so that's already split up half the group because a lot of people don't get the information straight away so they'll go to that place the police will detain these people and in the other place as well and then when the march actually gets going the main bunch gets split up into four or five different groups until they're smaller groups and then eventually people get bored it gets wet and rainy and they get cold they just want to go home and then the main sort of heavy-handed group gets kettled in for a certain time arrests are made and then that is usually what happens in the protests every single weekend the numbers are growing every week but it just seems like the same actors are there getting arrested filmed by the same crew the same main people on the stage are giving out false information making everyone look really bad when it comes to the crunch and when it comes to being able to talk to people within your family and on the street it, you're already looking bad because of what certain people have done and made you look like in the media this is how it works you've got that simon dolan and he's funding keep britain free and he's getting He's exchanging data with some massive data company. He's had loads of contracts uh, with his, his aeroplane company, and then he's trying to sue the government. I saw something where he's uh, getting loads of face currents imported. So recently. Yeah, he had a, a big PPE contract as well. He was bringing them in on his airplane. That's what it was, I think. And now and he's, he's trying to sue the government for the lockdown. Yeah. So it's like, mm. weird. It is weird. But <clears throat> what I think to myself is, what what do they benefit from doing that? What do they, if it's a fake story, what I don't get what they'd benefit from. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get why he's against the government and then he's taking money from them. It's weird. It's just... There can't be that many sort of business people who are willing to go against this because this is all based on business. You know, the richest will get richer from this. So if you're in the business world, then it doesn't make sense for you to go against this. Yeah. You'll lose out, you know, big time. Decent. It's just like, I don't know, it's everybody who's involved, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not saying they're Imagine. all. I'm not saying they're all government paid, but I'm just saying these mm. are the people that are representing the people in opposition mm. to the government. I suppose. Mm. So we we're allowed to question them. Exactly. That's what they do in Parliament. Yeah. This is our Parliament. 